All right, guys, what's up? Hope everyone's having a blessed day. Just want to show you some kind of cool HVAC goodies, toys I got. This from Amazon. It's a little 3 amp circuit breaker. So in theory, this would be very similar to the Little Popper. Only it's a third the price of the Little Popper. I added these wires out. These are uh, male spades and then female insulated spades here. They also sell uh, 5 amps, and uh, when this blows, this will turn white, the switch. And you know, it's resettable, so kind of cool. If you have like a unit that kind of blows a fuse now and then, it's kind of a hard short to find. You could probably, just, you know, install this permanently. And um, a lot of carrier package units have these, so if you're going to scrap a carrier package unit, I highly recommend to harvest these out before it goes to the scrapyard. So that's kind of cool. Here's another little short tool. This would be kind of similar to the Zebra short tool. This is also from Amazon. It's the info on it. I added these uh, male spades again, so you could just plug this into the circuit board where the fuse would go. In theory, and then there's a short. This will turn red. So that's kind of cool. Um, they had different colors, you know, or orange, green, yellow, all kinds of crazy colors. This is, I got red. I thought red would be the best color. And uh, these tend to sell out a lot. So, you know, if they're not available, sometimes you'll get stock. Sometimes you might have to buy a different color. These tend to sell out quite a, quite a bit. But uh, this is one way to help you find the short, not the only way, obviously. Probably the best ways is to own the wires if you can or what have you. Just another little tool to help you find some shorts. Okay, I got this idea from brother Shannon Knight. I saw him with this. And we got a telescoping alligator clip. And these could be pretty expensive for what they are. I got this off of eBay. And uh, so the idea with this is you light a match, stick it on here stick it into a heat exchanger and with the blower going and obviously the gas you know it not fired up this with the blower going and if you stick this in a heat exchanger with a lit match and if the match blows blows out that means you got a hole in the heat exchanger um i mean if i guess if it blows out a match you're probably going to have a pretty big hole but kind of an old school way of finding the crack heat exchanger but yeah you know, it's just a, another tool to have that's one way of checking for a cracked heat exchanger it's not the only way but it is one way kind of old school but i like it i like it good idea brother shannon okay next tool next tool next next okay i got this from johnstone these are hybrid jumper wires so they're hybrid they got the clamp as well as the magnet end on them so, in theory, this doesn't look like it would work good on these small thermostat uh, terminals. Like, see, it doesn't even want to stay on there. Especially if they're, you know, these screws are turned down tight to hold the wires in. This is probably not going to work good on these, but I can see it working good on these bigger circuit uh, terminals there. And the circuit boards. I can see these working pretty good on this. I got I got the other ones that are just the plain round magnet ones that will fit perfect in these. But I got these. I don't know. Sad Johnstone supposedly was on sale. That's the part number. Okay, next tool. Next, next goodie. Okay, this is an X Tar. <laughs> I think this is to recharge your vape machine, which is not a Choir Boy approved activity. Just so you guys know. But the idea with this is it takes two 18650 batteries that are not included. And this lid is magnetized. It's kind of, kind of cool. So if my flashlight goes uh, dies, I can just harvest the battery out of here. What have you. This is rechargeable. Charges with a micro USB. You have your standard USB out. Kind of cool, kind of cool. It has a status fuel gauge right there. Pretty small. 
that's the info. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Kind of, kind of. Okay, next. Next. Okay, someone asked me to do a video on these. I got this idea from... Oops, junk's blowing away. Kind of a little windy. Got this idea from Zach. Zach saw Zach with these, you know, quite a while ago. These are NRP, National Refrigeration Products. It's a brand at uh, United Refrigeration. America's Best Value. Yeah, these were pretty cheap. I want to say they were 16 bucks. So they are pretty well made. And this is, you know, it's metal, you know, obviously a plastic cap there like they all have. And these are made in the USA. Focus. <laughs> all right. But yeah, so this is, this has a pretty nice scale on it. This They have different uh, PT scales, obviously, but this would be the most useful for air conditioning. 410A PT scale, 407C R22. So this would be the most useful scale for air conditioning anyway. Um, so I use this, I keep this one in my bag just to check if the, you know, the unit even has any gas because a lot of times, you know, the unit, well, the units don't have gas and you start messing around with other stuff, but make sure the unit has gas. This is a quick check and I have this compound gauge as well. This is the high side, 800 PSI and 500 PSI max. Kind of cool. And these are pretty small. These So these are like really small compared to the other uh, gauges, yellow jackets and what have you. These are really small and they don't take as much room in your tool bag. So these are really small. Of course, you know, the writing's going to be smaller, but that doesn't really matter. As long as you're not totally blind, should be okay. All right, next tool, next tool, next and last tool. This is a CND. CD5050, and they have a different model that's a little more heavier duty than this one. And there's also AccuTools makes makes a this is a Schrader depressor. AccuTools makes one, uh, which is quite a bit more money than this one. But the AccuTools one is probably vacuum rated, which I doubt this one is. I wouldn't trust this one on a vacuum. Um, so the idea with this is kind of like a low loss fitting in a way. Put that there. Um, so the idea with this tool is it has a little straighter focus, a little straighter depressor in there. So you have that backed out. Okay, there's no straighter in here. I don't even think you could put one in here. But say you want to hook your uh, Testa Smart tools on here, gauges, what have you, whatever your little stub gauge here and you wanna, you know, check some pressure, screw this on, boom, 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 screw it on, okay? And you're still not gonna get any reading until you turn this in, and that stem there depresses the Schrader, and then you'll read pressure. And then when you're done, okay, back it out, back seat it, back it out, unscrew this, and you have almost no refrigerant loss, de minimis refrigerant loss. You don't uh, burn your fingers, you don't get oil splashing, spraying everywhere. So it's like a nice little low loss type of fitting. Kind of cool. The, the only downside I can see with this is this just takes like little o-rings. It doesn't take the standard hose gaskets in there. They, they give you a couple extra ones because a lot of people are saying these tend to not stay in there They'll probably stick to the unit or what have you or they fall out so but the AccuTools ones seem a lot better but there are a lot more money compared to these but kind of cool kind of cool so anyway I'm gonna try those out and I just want to share this these tools with you guys anyway hope you guys stay blessed choir boys out